Hi, in this video I'm going to give a tutorial on how to set up widgets using Tasker in order to control your Wink, uh, Wink connected smart home uh, lights or other uh, sensors. So if you see right here, I got a widget. I can move it over to the middle just to make it easier to see. It says LR off, which is stands for living room lights being off. And you can see the fixture is off. If I tap it, you see it says living room on, and it, on the bottom you get a pop-up notification letting you know that the the toast notification letting you know the living room lights turned on. And then if you tap it again, the lights turn off, and it gives you a notification letting you know that it works successfully. So the built-in Wink widgets do not let you do that uh, as of right now on May 16th 2016 the widgets are all um, separate you if you want to turn on the lights you need one widget to do that if you want to turn it off you need a separate widget to do that in addition there's only a limited amount of icons for you to choose from only about 15 20 icons for you to choose from many of them being holiday icons um, over here using the tasker you can choose any any picture you want as your icon. Number two, you're able to change the label. As you saw, by tapping it, you're able to change the label from being on to off. In addition, this reads the state of the light fixture. So if I manually turn on and off the light using the switch, or if I use the Wink app to change it, this widget will update itself to let you know the actual state which is very good for knowing if the lights are on or off and it's also even better if you're using it to control your sensors for an alarm system that's going to be my next project um, to let me know if my house is actually armed or disarmed and then I'm going to use Tasker to uh, use location to arm and disarm my system automatically and I'll know straight up if it is armed or not so Without further ado, let me open up the Tasker app. So in order to use this, first you have to uh, download the Wink Tasker uh, Tasks uh, Setup uh, Project from, uh, I forgot his name, um, but it's from uh, winkathome.com. And over here, I'm going to open up my project. It's called Wink Toggle. So basically, you're going to create a widget on your home screen um, in Tasker, and you're going to call it whatever you want. Mine is called Wink Toggle 1. Then let me just go through everything. So over here, we're going to go to device name. The If you notice, there's a percent sign in front. Make sure you have that there. And that's going to uh, say, you know, I want to fill in the device name in the Wink you know, API. And the two is LR main switch. That's my living room main switch. Make sure it's typed exactly how it appears in your Wink app. If you're not sure, you could go to um, uh, the Wink app to check, or you can go to uh, Tasker to you know get device names and find out exactly how it looks over there. So over here is the action of uh, performing a task. So if you notice, the name is called Wink at device status. Uh, make sure you get everything here and at the bottom you see status so this is reading the current status to check if the lights are on or off the living room light in particular uh, you could change that you know, variable the living room main switch to read any um, light switch so over here um, we're going to change the action part uh, the, the status right over here uh, to off if the status is power true this means basically when we tap our widget if it sees that the light is on it's going to switch it to off and the opposite is true if we see the status is powered false meaning it is off then we're going to switch it that it turns it on at the same time we are going to change the widget so if the status shows that it's on so when by pressing that toggle to switch it to off we're going to change the icon also to be an off icon in addition, the opposite is true. If the status is powered false, then by pressing it, we're going to change the icon to be powered on, the light on. 
Then we're, in addition, at the same time, we're going to change the labels. So over here we're going to, if you notice, it says set widget label. Make sure the name is exactly how it's spelled, how your uh, widget is called, wing toggle one. The label is called living room off if the status shows it's on, right? Because if it's on, when you're pressing it, you want to switch it to everything turning off. Then the opposite is true also. If it's off, you want to turn it on. And finally, this is uh, performing the task. This is what it actually switches the lights from being on and off. So here's a uh, called the wink process command. Over here, it's the device name, which we filled in before as living room main switch, and then action to be that on or off values. So that this whole um, setup, these nine tasks are what controls that widget on its own in the front. Now, if you want it to automate itself. So I have it set whenever the display unlocks uh, normal priority. So I want the wink to auto update. So over here, um, we're going to do the same setup before. We're setting the device name to living room main switch. Then we're going to perform a task. We're going to uh, you know, grab the status. And then here when we set the widget icon, this is going to actually be the opposite of what we had before. So here, if it reads that the light is on, we're going to switch the icon to be on. And over here, if we see that it's false, we're going to switch it to be false. And over here, if the status of power true, it's going to turn on. And the opposite, if it's off, then it's going to say the room off. Okay, so basically, that's how this works. And I'm going to show you if we go out. So right now, the living room is off. If I go into the Wink app, See the living room main switch is off. If I turn it on, now it's on. Okay, but if you hear, you notice that the living room still shows off. That's because if you remember, I set the device trigger to automatically check every time the device is locked and unlocked. So I'm going to lock it and then unlock. And then hopefully it's going to update within a second and tells me that the living room light is on. And then once again, I can continue by turning it off and it works perfectly. So I'm hoping that one day widget uh, Wink will build in this functionality into their widgets. I've put it in a request, but for the meantime, uh, here's how to do it yourself. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll try to help you out. You could uh, just, if you want to um, you know, customize it to yourself, don't forget, it's uh, really relatively simple. You just gotta go to the tasks, um, and that wink toggle, you just got to change that device name to uh, whatever you want. Thank you for watching and have a great day.